now we're ready to uh, mount the main bearing. Now, when you purchase your table, I'm assuming, hopefully you're purchasing this table, um, it likely has the main bearing already set up. It likely is in a more of a finished position. This is just to show you from bottom to top, mostly a quick um, run over of, of it being assembled. So if you have any questions later on in use or cleaning or maintenance, you'll be able to, to feel comfortable about doing that. So the main bearing. So it's a similar design to our uh, smaller table, Pebbles, but on a much more massive scale, okay? The, the, this is the entire um, platter bearing assembly and sub platter, we call this. Um, it has to accommodate the two belts. And we, the reason we have two motors, by the way, is this is so massive a bearing. It's a full um, inch in diameter. Um, the, the stainless steel, um, in fact, I actually, I will pull that out. So, okay, pull that out like this. Okay, so really massive. The, the outer color is made out of bronze. Okay, so not brass like the pebbles, but now bronze. And then in the bottom, which is gonna be hard to see, but the actual bottom plinth is a half inch of copper. And what came out with the um, bearing is the, the ball itself. So it's a small hardened steel um, ball bearing. And if you see, it's kind of greasy looking because that's a very high performance, very thick, high viscosity uh, grease. And so with the mass of the size and the grease, now I'm going to put this back in. There's a tiny little hole in the bottom of the copper outside of the play but right in the very bottom here I'm not sure if you can see that on in the, uh, the picture um, in fact maybe if with the light coming through my shirt you can see a teeny little hole depending on the resolution um, that will allow the air the machining is so tight between the two of these in fact the, the, the bearing once made goes to a car shop that does the blueprinting of cylinder heads and such so the machining is very tight tolerance. So I've tr we, we couldn't, it takes so long to try to get them together otherwise. So it pushes out the air. Plus there is a cavity created inside here and that little air, little hole um, allows, res it's a resonance. It's actually been tuned. So the hole isn't just some random hole size. It's been tuned um, for sound. Um, so um, I'll just, uh, actually, this is thread. This is the collar, so undo the collar. Okay. Now, there's a little hole in the plinth, and there's a bolt here. Um, we did that, and we're doing that with all our tables, because we noticed putting it on, so I'm going to just drop it down through. Line it up to the hole. Okay, good. Um, it just, when putting the collar on and adjusting the height of the plinth, it's fully adjustable and you set it to the, with the um, spindles here, okay? Um, it would spin as you're trying to tighten it. It was really frustrating. So this little screw um, bolt helps to stop it from moving while you're trying to set the whole thing up. So I'm gonna reach underneath. Okay, in fact, I'm going to have to lift this up a little bit, then reach underneath and put the collar on. Of course, I'm left-handed and I'm using my right hand, so I'm not sure how smart that was, but let's see if I can still do it with my right hand. Uh, oh, almost got it. Okay. I'm not as adept with my right hand as I thought I was. So let's assume I thread that on, okay? And we'll continue on. 